I know what you're thinking. Wow, Tanner, did you draw that masterpiece? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. You see, I went to art school for half of my life just to be able to pull something like this off. But that's not relevant. Let me tell you how I use this wham, wet ass masterpiece to turn this map into this one. This is it. This is all it took. I added the generate water method call and water just randomly appeared on the map. Just kidding. The first step is to randomly select the starting side where the river will begin its journey. Once we've randomly selected the starting side, we need to randomly select the position along that starting side where the river will actually first be placed. With the start side and start position selected, it's now time to randomly select the end side and the end position. With these two positions, I generate a vector between them by subtracting the end x minus the start x and the end y minus the start y. If I drew the river using this vector, it would literally be a straight line like you see in the image. This leads to the second part of the algorithm that creates the natural and organic looking river that you see in the screenshot. All right, so our river is taking a straight shot from the start position to the end position. Let's zoom in and see what's happening on a tile by tile basis. Along the way to the end position, the river can randomly select intermediate destinations to travel to. This is how I create the natural and organic twists and turns that a real river might have. Okay, so an intermediate destination has been selected. However, before the river tries to move to that position, it will randomly decide whether to increase its width. The probability of this happening is high to create wider rivers. Now the river can continue moving toward its intermediate goal position and randomly increasing its width along the way. Once the river has reached its intermediate goal, it will continue making the journey towards the end position, taking little detours along the way. This is pretty much the whole process of trying to create random and natural looking rivers, which surprisingly seems to do a fairly good job. Could I have used the A star algorithm and thrown some blockers on this map to create naturalness? Probably, but hey, this methodology was birthed in my brain and this is my problem child. That's all for this video. I hope to make more content this year and I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stick around towards the end of this video to see Joe doing something silly. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And who knows, maybe you'll give this video a like. Or do something even crazier, like share this video with your mom or someone else you care about. Do you like free money? Of course you do. Who doesn't? Use my referral link down below to sign up for Weeble. Weeble is a stock and crypto trading app similar to Robinhood. When you sign up with my link, get one free stock valued at up to $300 just for signing up. Deposit any amount of money and get another free stock valued up to $3,000. Obviously, it's very unlikely to get the higher valued stocks, so you'll probably get stocks valued at $5 to $10. But still, who doesn't want a free $10 to $20? Check out my link below to get your free stocks. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you silly dog. What are you doing? Joe, Joe! Come on, buddy.